Hello everyone, this is Karst, and welcome back to Prey! Last episode we left off, um, kind of stimmied by the fact that I needed to rush in to save these mind-controlled, um, crew members. And I'm about to go into the... well, currently we're in the crew quarters. But I'm about to head into the fitness center area to save the, um, the fitness trainer, more or less. And then after that, I'm going to visit everyone's rooms, because there's a bunch of quests that leads me into here. And I'm excited to snoop around, so, without Don't further ado, let's run. Our flickering station is just hurting. Okay, that's Keep fine. Going. Run at them. Okay. Uh-oh. Don't want to get close to you, it's fine. Okay, you're good. You've taken some damage, but you're good. You're okay as well. Don't think I can save anyone who has run through that, though, unfortunately. This is the problem I was facing last time, where... Um, well, this was basically killing all the uh, NPCs as they were walking through it. I don't know if this person could have been saved, but they are super dead, whoever they are, Oliver Benoit. So, um, yeah, alright, Emma. What have you got on you? A transcribe, some jerky, a note. No idea where that is. And I'll listen in. Emma, it's Danielle. <sighs> I'm trying to reach Abby, but she's not answering. Please. Don't. Come. Emma? Please. No, not Emma. I, I can barely hear you. Say. Is Abby with you? Are you okay? Yes. Not me. It's, it's not. I won't. I won't. I won't do it. You can't. Okay, 90%. Uh oh. Is that a. That's a mind controlled person, isn't it? Yep. Hello. Well, thank goodness I looked in there first. Or at least, like, I heard the notification, I saw the shadow. Otherwise, his head would have exploded and I would have been annoyed. Alright, well, thank you for that. I'm glad there are no mimics around here, at least. It's interesting that the, uh, the Typhon types don't really interact with each other. So, like, at least the mimics are not killing off uh, these people because they're already mind-controlled, presumably. Or maybe there's just no mimics at all. Hmm. Oh crap, is that... I did pick up some bourbon. And my inventory is almost full. Um, Drop please, thank you. Let's save again. Okay, so. Uh, I just went in through the locker room. I do want to run in through... Um, whoa! Nice. Alright, these people just turn the corner whenever they want. Jeez. And it's a good thing I actually plugged up that leak, because that would have killed him. Alright. Oh, and I'll take that banana. Thank you. What's in here? Don't worry. You're not like the rest of us. <laughs> That's okay. What? Uh, okay, well, that was no good. I will load that. <laughs> I was a bit too close, and my glue did not turn off the, um... My glue did not, um... Crap. Alright. Um, did not plug up that leak, which is unfortunate. Yeah, why did it not... I guess it was on the wrong side. Hello? Excuse me? Someone explain to me why that's not blocked. Okay, alright, fine, whatever. I'm like, I'm not, it's not like I'm not paying attention. I am doing it right. Pow! Okay. Well, I can safely get those people. That's okay. Yeah, I can safely uh, knock them out. That's not a concern. The 
telepath is the concern here. Alright, well, if they get over here, I'm okay with that, actually. That won't be too bad. Because then I can... Because then I can basically knock them all out and then just take on the telepath alone. Uh, is there another guy over there? Come on, keep coming. Come on. I need you to walk to me somewhat slowly, please. One at a time. One at a time. Nice. Next. Okay. I choose to believe that is it. Um, as far as the controlled people go. I, I will find out, so I'm going to go up here. Can I check this stuff? No. Alright. Someone's unconscious. Anyone else up here? No, okay. So this is just the fitness room. Hello. Employee profile. I'm fine without. Uh, Emma BD. Files. Huntress Boltcaster. Well, I mean, we already have this. I'm good. I've gotten this, uh, this, this blueprint like four times already. Um, Executive Suite, we already know about it, don't we? Personal training session from Kevin, Kevin Sabian. Emma, as you know, Morgan's availability is going to be extremely limited in the upcoming weeks. She'd like to schedule her personal training sessions tomorrow, if possible. Could you possibly adjust your schedule to accommodate this window? Morgan would greatly appreciate it. The key code to the executive suites is 2965. Thank you. Kevin Sabian, Concierge, Cruise Facilities. Treasure Hunt. Greetings, adventurers. Each of you have a map fragment by now. I managed to hand them to some of you in person. Others might have noticed a new file on your workstations after the last session. Oop. Uh, there we go. They are map fragments. Work together and figure out the clues. Once you have, return to my quarters and you will be given your prize. Your humble game master, Abigail. Okay, so this is like some long-term... Some long-term quest, isn't it? It's going to be very involved, I assume. Uh, where are you? Treasure hunt. So I'm missing Danielle's map. But then I need to investigate the rest of them. So let's at least get that before considering doing this. But I feel like this is going to be spread out, like, throughout the entire the entire station or something, which would be slightly annoying. Slightly annoying. Um, okay. This looks like the... Yep, there's a telepath. I know there is. Uh-oh. Why did I have to do that? I'm an idiot. It's fine. It doesn't know I'm here. I can walk up behind it and sneak attack it. I should probably sc scan it so I do some bonus damage to it. hi -ya! Oh, that did a lot. Run! Before it shoots me. Okay. I mean, if it just forgets about me frequently, I can just walk right up to it and blast it in the back, like, multiple times, right? In theory. Just, uh, forget about me, please. I'm not here. I'm not here. Music went away. Oh yeah, it's definitely forgetting about me. The problem is it might be looking at me, and I don't like that. If it's facing towards me, then that's a problem. But apparently, Typhon hearing is not oh. Typhon hearing is not actually that good. I was able to land behind it with like a jetpack, and it didn't notice. Nice. It can't really hit me from up here. I'm in a pretty good location. Oh, okay, never mind. I mean, it knows I'm it knows I'm up here. In theory, it can fly into this room, right? In theory, but I think that would be dependent a bit on the AI. But if I can lure it into this room, I'm happy to fight it in here. I think it's forgetting about me again though. Well, it's not forgetting. It looks like it's staring at me. Okay. Get in here. Oh, that thing tracks. 
The main thing right now is I want to preserve my uh, regular pistol ammo. Like, I want to preserve it pretty badly, to be honest. I guess I could Q-beam it. Hey, bud. We're almost clear on it. Oh, reload. Goodbye. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, well, honestly, that worked out pretty well. That went about as be as well as it could have gone, I think. Excellent. Thank you. I guess I could have blown this up, hypothetically. Transstar pool area. This is a nice, nice location too. They've got a like, they've got a nice uh, fitness center. They've got a pool area. It's completely drained, but you know. Now, where's their sauna? You know, a place like this definitely has a sauna somewhere, right? All right, nothing else in here. Um, this seems like pretty standard pool rules. Okay. So everyone here is now alive, and still will hopefully stay alive. You're in your own little isolated area, so... Okay. Let's check out these rooms. The golden gun is over there, and the cook's room is over there. And then there's like three rooms over here that I kind of want to look at. Um... Well, the cook wants me specifically to go there, so I'll go there last. Is what I'm thinking. Well, sorry. The cook, in quotations. Pretty clearly, it's not the actual cook, but... That's okay. I'll deal with him later. Uh, Bellamy's room. There should be no one in here, right? We know his corpse is, you know, away. Oh, that was freaky. Let's lock this for now so no one walks in behind me. Um, Objective completed, apparently. That was it. The rooms are pretty basic, but I mean... It looks comfy. I'll take that. Don't know what it does. It's an aggressor app. Amp, sorry. Increases the damage of all side attacks. Well, again, I'm not using those. Sylvain Bellamy, files. Morgan U. Typhon research data, excuse me. Scan complete. Typhon Scan ability researched. Eh. Uh, eh. Email. Morgan solutions from Alex U. to Sylvain Bellamy. Over the past several tests, Morgan has used different solutions to the same problem even though we've been controlling every possible variable. Room A, for example. In test 9, she exercised precise control to move the boxes one at a time. In test 10, she simultaneously levitated them, all straight up a few inches, technically completing the test. Then in 14, she incinerated them. If not for the safety glass, you'd... What is happening after reset that's leading up to this variance? Hmm. He was a um, master, I don't know, I assume that's master's in molecu uh, molecular science. Okay, and this is Jay Thorstein. I don't remember who you are. I actually don't remember, and I apparently have your key card. Why is this uh, room flickering, though? Exotic material. Recycler chart. Oh, finally! It took forever to get that, the recycler charge uh, fabrication plan. I've been looking for that for ages. Um, okay, what did I just pick up? Another scope? Potentializer? No, it was a suit chip set. Here you go. It was a leverage assist. Reduces the time it takes to pick up heavy objects. Oh, that's kind of meh. Frankly. Uh, Jorgen Thorstein. Email. My new reployer. Dr. Thorstein, I just wanted to write you personally and thank you for the new reployer. I know some people have been on waiting lists to get one of these, and it was a pleasant surprise to find a new one in my office this morning. It is this feeling of gratitude that makes it awkward for me to trouble you further. However, if you could spare one of your engineers for a bit, it would be great if they could swing by and show me exactly what it does. Thank you, Dr. Ayo, uh, Dayo Igwe. Yeah, the reployers I've been seeing all around the station, I don't actually know what they're for. They look like containers. They look like those things from like Alien Isolation that you hide in, but... Mm. Part requisition. Wanted to clear a Morgan request, again. Morgan was down in hardware today, just standing there, as if not sure where to go. And when I offered to help, Morgan asked me for more operator parts. I asked if the last ones we'd sent hadn't been sufficient, and I got a blank look. I mean, no offense. But Morgan's requisition... 
but Morgan's requisitioned enough to repair any operator in the station five times over now, and we have other operators that need maintenance. Clive. Cool. That would have been when I was building January then, presumably, and possibly even December. Oh, hi. And you are Elizabeth Bay, all right. M. Devries. Oh, no key card required, huh? And there's something I can repair down there, apparently. I keep thinking I'm going to get jumped because it's someone's room. Uh. Oh, you got mimicked. Well, that's good to know. That also warns me that there may be more um, mimics around here somewhere. No? All right. So I finally... Oh, no, this that's Matthias Cole? Really? He's just in here? Brain pills fabrication plan. Okay. Well, if Cole was in here, where was Devri uh, Devries? Did I find his body before? I don't remember. I've already found so many bodies in this, in this game. It's kind of like, I don't remember who's who. That's okay. I thought I would have to repair it, but we're fine. Um, Abigail... Phase Foy's cabin. She's the one who was the the game master. Doctor Show. Oh, good. Oh, Ivy Song. I can shotgun you in the face. It's fine. Hello. All right. Okay, I took some damage from it, but it could have been worse. I will eat that. And that's enough. Okay. I kind of figured there would be an enemy in here because, um... Well, I mean, the door was busted open and the music started, you know, getting ominous. Note! Danielle, I missed you, leaving your character sheet here, but I have a spear in case you don't make it back before the game. Don't worry, it looks great. See you at the rec center, Abby. Melindra Shadow Corner. Ah, she's the rogue. What was that? Another note. To do, find the missing transcribe and check the theater. Already found it. Get my stuff from Abby's cabin. Haven't gone in there yet. Finish draft of apology letter. Pull head out of ass. Prioritize relationships over work. Fair. Well, there's this on the floor that I will repair. A broken transcribe. Danielle Show. What are you doing? Are you recording this? Joint transcribes are fun. They are not. It's like mental scrapbooking. You both save the moments that matter. Okay, well that's enough. Abigail, I'm recording this time. You too, Emma. It's fine. Danielle's joining us. She'll cover us if... Uh. That should be enough to synthesize Danielle's voice. Enough to spoof the lock on deep storage anyway. That's great. Also, you... I've been monitoring noetic field signatures around the station when I can. With humans, the signal barely registers. The Typhon make a strong ripple by comparison. Oh. Abby, sometimes the words come running out of your mouth and you want to catch them all before it's too late. They're out there. I... But with... Abby, it felt more personal to write you a note, but still not as terrifying as trying to apologize to you in person. I know I'm a coward, but I don't trust what I'm going to say, so... Coral? My inst... Abby, I'm not good at this. That's obvious. Words, words, blah. Readings are... erratic. I'm not sure what it means. The sooner we get your arming key, the better. Yeah, it would have been great if you didn't interrupt um, the Abigail, playback. I'm yeah. recording this time. You too, Emma. It's fine. Danielle's joining us. She'll cover us if we get into trouble. She said yes? We negotiated. I had to say yes to some things, too. Fair enough. Conversation archive. It's a date. Nope, this sounded serious, so I wanted to shut my transcribe off. So, okay, so you're asking me if it's okay to record our game on the transcribes. Yes, uh, I know using the memory, it's not right. I can't be having this conversation. Oh, I I'm so sorry. I'm gonna lose my job for even talking to you about this. What? What? Exactly. What you're going to do is have dinner with me. What? You say what a lot when you should say yes. <sighs> Yes? See? All settled. Don't worry about the transcribes. It's not against regulation. So, are you gonna invite me to this game or not? 
Alrighty then. How nice for them. Dear Future Us. Today, Future Us, we are not calling ourselves that. Today, I was able to convince my beautiful but stubborn partner to... Stubborn? <laughs> to stay in bed and not report for an extra shift. And this is the reward I get. From Lorenzo Calvino to Danielle Show. Subject, my password. Danielle, my workstation said it was time to upgrade my plat... Ugh, ugh, wow. My workstation said it was my... <laughs> It was time to update my password. I wanted to know if it was okay to use Kublai Khan and whether that fit your requirements. Regards, Dr. Calvino. It's probably missing a number and a special character. Dr. Calvino, for starters, if you have any more questions about passwords, please email the IT department and don't use my personal address. Second, you should never type your password into an email. Regardless of how tight our security is, you never know. Third, the password guidelines are just that, guidelines. You're all grown-ups and can use whatever you want but we have a list of recommendations yeah recommendations for keeping your password safe okay thanks all right preparing for the concert from sky to danielle hey danielle i'm pulling a late shift on the bridge tonight and i left my transcribe in my pod could i convince you to bring it to me on your way to deep storage by the way i have some ideas for making our uniforms look a little more pop star for our demonstration at the tulip don't be scared well we we know about the demonstration and we know about the treasure hunt okay that's all then. Let's check out Abby's room. Oh, she has a... I don't like that sound. What's that? Um, She has a pinball machine. Nice. Things look a little messy in here, though. Oh, I guess they were just partying because there's, like, cards and stuff. And flexi foam bolts. All right. Note. The yellow tulip. Join us for a private celebration of Transstar success. 7 p.m. Alex Toast and Review. 8 p.m. Crew Demonstration. Sky Braxton and Danielle Show. Crew Facility, second floor of Mezzanine. Yeah, but we already... We've already done all that. Oh, she had a... She, oh my goodness, they had a gaming session. Now this, this is the fun type of life. After work, I guess. Uh... The Starbender... Cycle, book three, spatial delivery. I think this is the one we were missing, right? Oh no, I think we, we've read this before. Uh, enter the password, I don't have it, but I can, pa I'm, I'm sure I can, you know, hack my way in. It was probably something like Danielle or something. Right, level one stations, you don't even run into that often anymore. Hidden treasure, I have no idea. Files, another, bull caster ammunition, sure, why not? Conversation Archive. The melodrama is real. Danielle? Had a meeting with the great Alex Yu today. He gave me one of his bullshit I'm sorry's with no resolution. Between him and Morgan, it's like a tradition. The Yu family sorry. Was it as insincere as a Danielle show apology? No. Danielle, I'm not saying working with him is easy, but did you just compare me to him? To that arrogant sack of shit. Danielle, this has to stop. You're right. Get out. We're done. Danielle! I said get out. Uh, overreaction much? Um, where are you? From Danielle to Abigail. I don't think this is a drill. Did you feel the vibration? Felt like a blast in the lower decks. Danielle to Abigail. Are you okay? I've heard some people were hurt. Please be there. Please? Come find me. I tried calling Emma at the fitness center. Something seriously wrong here. Get out of the crew and I'll come find you. Treasure hunt. Uh, we know about this. You're such a nerd, Abigail. Alright. What's wrong with that? <laughs> there's nothing wrong with being a nerd. Um. Okay, well that's the bathroom and there's Calvino's room. Okay. Why the music? Whoa, that was trippy. Uh, why the music choice? Note. Bill, if you're injured or sick, you get a pass. Otherwise, it is 75 minutes of exercise per week. Minimum. Code to gym is 2254, in case you forgot. I already knew that. Okay. Oh, hello. Uh... All right. Shower, shower, shower. There's actually nothing in here. I'm surprised. I would have thought like a mimic or something, but no. 
Okay. Fine. Get me into Calvino's room. Habitation pods. Hmm. It's a bit messy in here, isn't it? What happened? Huh. Okay, well, he was working on some looking glass stuff, certainly. I mean, technically, if you can set this up in your room and have, like, a giant screen, you can do... Like, that's not bad. Like, this is not bad at all. You can have, like, any scene you want. As your, uh... As your scenery out the window, technically. Um, okay, okay. LG controls. Looking glass. I'm gonna turn it off. Oh, there's another... There's a safe back there. Alright. Visor prototype. Entry 1. Never. I have never removed a neuromod. And yet, today, I could not find my way to the hardware labs. I wandered the arboretum for an, an hour. I made some excuse, but... I know Miyu suspects. I cannot keep making toys for Transtar when... I told Alex what I want to try. He gave me a device to help. Parapsychological contraption. Morgan made it. Some of the components are beyond me. Okay. Entry two. The same dream again. There is something wrong with this station. Something here with us, but I am hallucinating now. There, uh, there, there is no question. Okay, entry three. I, I tried to open the locker, but I, I could not remember our anniversary. And for a moment, even her name escaped me. Her name! If one day I wake up and cannot even remember the work I am doing, I must... Give it all to Morgan. She will know what to do with it. Okay, and before. First test. Anterior electrodes overheated uh, after six seconds. But I swear, there was a moment I saw her again. The day we met on the Costa Amalfi. Her lemon sundress. My Clorinda. Okay, so basically he's getting old and starting to lose his memory. Makes sense. Alzheimer's? Uh, note. May 23rd. That's probably the password to his, uh... To his passcode, yes? May 23rd? Alright, well, I'm very sorry to do this to you, but I don't know how to open these without breaking them. So, uh, Morgan Smash! Yeah, okay. Well, I, I didn't even have to figure it out. It's just right there. No, I don't need to lock it. Let me loot it. Uh, freight wire and EMP charge and some newer mods. That's really nothing. That's not much at all, but okay. Uh, habitation pods. What exactly does that entail? Enemies. Oh, this is where people... Poltergeist. Where? Um, so this is basically where the, uh... Regular staff members sleep. The ones who are not, um... You know, officers, or people of higher station. Okay, but where's the poltergeist? Hello? No? Not allowed to look for him? Alright. Ow. Rude. Note. Anders, your package arrived. Front desk. If I'm not here, the code 6065 is on the gate. I won't tell anyone if you don't. Well, I mean, I've already been in the mailroom, haven't I? You know it would be great if the poltergeist could actually be in this room so I could shoot it. So it would stop doing that to me. I now have to heal myself because it knocked me into, uh, into a bed. Uh, alright. Malaya Fowles. This is Fowles. Officer Fowles. Malia, I have an important request. It's sensitive, though. I need to know I can trust you with her. There are so many transcribes here. What the hell? Matter. Uh, yes, of course, sir. It's just that normally I can't do something like that without consent from Chief Elazar HR and another director. Those people report to me, Malia. Yes, sir. I understand. I want you to keep an eye on Annalise Gallegos. 
Ow! Well, I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead! Oh, and then I died. Excuse me. Alright, thanks for that, Poltergeist. If you could actually be in the room this time, so I don't, you know, randomly take damage for no reason, that'd be great. Are you upstairs? Are you outside? Where are you? Like, I assume it's beyond the wall or something, but I don't know. I'm gonna have to re-loot everything. I just have to run around in here and be careful then, because I don't think the poltergeist is actually in this room. Which makes it a little annoying, yes. I've already read this, that's fine. There's nothing over here. Wait, was there anything on this side? No. Okay, I know there are noodles on the other side here. This is Fowles. Oh, there you are! Officer Fowles. Malia. Did he just die? I have an important request. It's sensitive, though. I need to know I can trust you with a Where is he? surveillance matter. Uh, yes, of course, sir. It's just that normally I can't do something like that without consent from Chief Elazar HR and another director. Those Where is people he? report to me, Malia. Yes, sir. I understand. Oh, he's in here. I want you to keep an eye on Annalise Gallegos. Where she goes. How it she went out the door. Visitors. I'll log everything on the security computer. Got it. Good. Send me a report at the end of the week. Yes, sir. Nice. Alright, now I should be okay. It turns out it was behind me the whole time. Who would have guessed that? Alright, ah, Let me get this one first. Lawrence Baxter. You've got me really curious. Are you ready for your instructions, my lady? This better not get us into trouble. Not too much trouble, anyway. <clears throat> First, you must journey to the tree where we carved our initials. And what if I bump into Julian Howard? Run like hell. Julian the Ogre does not like people touching his trees. Or his, uh, fruit. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Probably be a lot less grumpy. Anyway. Beneath a stone, you will find a magical key card. This key card will unlock everything your heart desires. Oh, well, I don't need a key for that. But don't worry about work. Michaela said you could take an extra shift since it's your birthday. Uh huh. Seems legit. Uh, the lover's gift. Find the tree with the lover's initials. Well, that's Arboretum, so I'll be going back out there later anyway. Uh, the yellow tulip. Yeah, we know about that. Sky Braxton. Wanted to check in on you, Sky. Just a Neuromod hangover. I feel weird. I can't believe you got modded for Alex's clown show at the Tulip. Are you kidding? I've always wanted to play an instrument, but never had the time. It's so... It's like I can see the sheet music in my head. I feel like I've been doing this since I was seven. Besides, you are going to be on stage with me, right? Only to catch you if you suddenly collapse. And only if you keep me from punching Alex if I drink too much. Character sheet. Uh, Rosalind Swift. Okay. Granger's Memories. Excerpt from a journal written by Harley Granger. September 27th, 2034. I should still be down there playing. My guys needed me, and my shoulder just couldn't deliver. I couldn't deliver. I brought a lot of autographed gloves with me and passed them out like candy at Halloween, but it turns out a lot of these test tubers don't follow sports at all, much less know about my career, short as it was. What are the chances Mr. Yu could set me out with the neuromods I'd need to put me back in the game? Hell, he could buy a franchise and stock it with the greatest players that ever lived. If I got a neuromod, would it be me playing? The league would never let modded players in, but how would they know? Hmm. Interesting, but, you know, I'm not exactly in the sports game. Oh, gosh. In the sports sphere, either, but it sounds like cheating to me. Oops, I dropped something I didn't want to drop. Uh, what did I drop? Banana peels. Okay, well, I mean, realistically, I didn't lose much, but that's fine. Ha! Alright. So that's the pods. Where the, uh, the lower ranked uh, staff members sleep. Got it. Oh, hello. I wonder where this leads. I'm nosy. 
Oh. Whose room is this? I have no idea whose room I'm in, but sure, why not? I'll take all this. Survivor's account of the evacuation day three. We had driven far enough that our fuel ran out. More jets flew over, headed towards the city. One circled back and made several passes over us, but did not shoot. That night in the desert, we sat by the empty truck and listened to the booming of artillery. Flashes of bombs and lightning covered the horizon. In the morning, our city was lost in what appeared to be shimmering heat waves. High overhead, there were brilliant flashes of light. Some said it was an atomic bomb, and others said it was God's wrath. Today, I know it was just an accident. Scientists that thought they knew everything, but they did not. There were so many people lost that day. So many that I can barely comprehend it. But it was like Eliza that hurt my heart. Sorry, but it was Eliza that hurt my heart. I know she was just a dog, and I am ashamed of my feelings, but she did not make this world we live in. She was mine to protect, and I failed. Still interesting to know about the evacuation, because I still don't have any context on that. I'll take that. And that. Yeah, there's no context on it, so... Hmm. Uh, th oh, this is Elazar's room. Sarah's room. Okay, fair enough. I don't have a password for it, but I don't need one. I've heard her voice a lot, and I... I know she's still alive because she contacted me by radio, but I don't know where she is and what she's doing. Uh, files, weapon kit fabrication plan. I might already have this, but I'll take it just in case. Email. Need a security escort from Alex Yu. I know you probably have your hands full right now, but we need you to send a security detail to detain Dimitri Bowser. He witnessed the incident, and he's pretty shaken. We're not sure how stable he is at the moment. Make an assessment and hold him indefinitely if necessary. Use discretion. Is that the guy who's in the holding cells, like, upstairs in the lobby area? Um, or, like, you know, in that room I couldn't access way earlier in the game? Something's on the station. From Elias Black. Ma'am, you know I went to the doctor about sleep and all that. I got pills, but I'm still seeing things. After game night, I was cleaning up and a chair moved by itself. I'm not crazy like you know who. I'm sending this because just after the alert, I heard something in the vent over security. I thought I saw something black up there. We need to check this out because I'm starting to think that there's something on the station that we don't know about. Oh wait, I've read this before, haven't I? Missing keycard. Well, we know about this as well. Illusion. Please add Michaela Illusion to the watch list. While she's currently performing her duties, her condition makes for a potential security risk and we may need leverage. Her access should be restricted to work and crew facilities. Please don't let her anywhere near the labs. Also, flag any communications between her and Dr. Galagos out of Psychotronics. Medical is beginning to suspect that she has white noise. So the fact that she falsified her records may be enough. Normally, I'd advocate neuromod removal, but her condition prevents this. Keep me apprised, Alex. Alrighty. I didn't actually learn that much in this room. But that's fine. Uh, whose room is this? Jada Marks. That's the captain, right? Oop. Okay. The Starbender Cycle, Book 2, My Enemy's Enemy's Enemy. We've read that for sure. I'll take this ammo. Thank you. Happily accepted. 0665. Golden Gun! Well, wait a minute. If I toss my pistol, am I going to lose all my, um, my upgrades, though? Let me eat this real quick. Yeah, if I toss my pistol, would I not lose my upgrade? Like, I have it, it's nice, but... But let me see, do I have to upgrade it separately? Because that's a bit of a waste if I do. I have to upgrade it separately. Is it better by default, or is, is it just pretty? 13 is the damage I have on this. 13 is the base damage on this. Okay, okay, I see. But I upgraded the range to the 35. Range is still 15 on this. Okay, so I did waste some weapon upgrade kits, but this does more damage. So... It's about time to retire the old silence pistol, huh? The Golden Pistol. A gold-plated trophy pistol once belonging to the four-time world champion sports shooter, Seleth Rain. The champion visited Talos 1 to capture a connectome to his brain in the Neuromod division. During his visit, he was moved to present this pistol as a gift to Captain Jada Marks. Okay, sure. No, sorry. 
In that case, I will upgrade this because it's going to be my new main pistol. It's a shame that I have to uh, use more um, upgrade parts in order to get my range back up. But it is what it is. So this is now my new main pistol. This is uh, unfortunately dead to me. Kind of wish I could just, you know, recycle it. Could I? I can't dismantle it. Okay. Well, goodbye, pistol. It was, it was a good run. We we had a very long run. You've been with me since the beginning of the game. All right. Got my replacement. Very good. Ow! I don't even know why I said ow. He didn't hit me. Don't ask me why I said ow. <laughs> I honestly couldn't tell you. Um, anyway, well then, let's uh, heal up a little bit. I was not anticipating that. I assume that was scripted. Like, I assume because he picked up a weapon upgrade. But I have no idea. Alright, moving on. This is M. Kelstrup. I like that I already have the key card to like all of these. Kelstrup's room. Nothing in your briefcase. Ooh. Eel prototypes. Alright. What is he, a bioengineer or something? Yikes, I would not want to keep that stuff on my bed. Hello? Ew. Are those hearts or something? Anyway, uh, hypo fabrication plan. Don't need any of that. I'll take that. Anything else in here? No? Okay. Hans Kelstrup. Email from Will Mitchell. Canned pears. Greetings, Dr. Kelstrup. Unfortunately, we, don't, we won't see another case of canned pears until the next supply shuttle arrives. As always, Elliot will mark them EDS. Thank you for your patience. Arns. From Alex U. Or to Alex U. From Hans Kelstrup. Deja Vu has set in again. Retracing, yeah, retracing steps is going to be a little harder this time. It seems that Mueller's, Mueller's staff was not properly recording data, so all the progress they made since the last, last department-wide removal is in jeopardy. We'll need to temper our expectations. Wiping the memories of an entire department is a tremendous setback, and I'm beginning to question the practice versus the results we've seen. We should revisit the staggered system we, discuss, uh, we discussed last year. Get them scheduled, Alex. Which department? Are you resetting everyone's memories periodically? What's going on? There's Ilyushin's room. Can't get in there, though. Unfortunately. Dr. Igwe. Anything crazy in here? No? Alright. Uh, orchestrated objective resolution. Consciousness originates from processes inside the neurons. I don't know what that says. Um, consciousness is based on non-computable quantum processing. Sure, why not? The neural horizon. We've read that. I don't know who's who in that. Oh, I assume Igwe is the one on the right. Presumably. Moon rock statue. Okay, well, I don't really need that. But thank you for the offer, I suppose. I'll take that. I'll take that. Let me in. How nice that hacking bypasses errors in the password uh, recognition software. If only it was that easy. Okay, files. Eh, I already have that. Doc, uh, Bianca Goodwin meeting Gustav. Mm. I think we've read this before. Yeah, we've we've read this before. I think. It's not relevant. It doesn't like doesn't add to the story or anything at all. I assume there's going to be like a, a vent or something that I can crawl through from the bathroom. There's Miss uh, Mitchell's room. Okay, they're turning on on their own. So this may be another poltergeist, or a mimic, or something. Ah, uh, I figured. Where'd he go? I knew it. It's in here. I damaged it too. Mimic. Whoa! 
Nice. Good work, me. Awesome. Okay. So, there was a Mimic and there was a Poltergeist. I was right. These doors are opening on their own, but I think that's just because of the Poltergeist. I wish I could get into Michaela's room, but I don't think that's possible for me. Unless I had, like, you know, Mimic or something, but... It's a shame. It's a shame, truly. Whoa, what the... You'd imagine I could get through here, but no. Like, I can totally fit through that. I can totally fit through here. Just crawl, but okay, fine. Whatever. I think that leads out to outer space. Yeah, yeah, okay. Just checking. The Encyclopedia of Food Science and Cooking. Transglutaminase... Transglutaminase... TG or TGase... Is a naturally occurring enzyme found in plants, but animals, and bacteria. TG is often used to bond protein containing foods together and is a production of foods such as imitation crab meat and fish balls, known colloquially by ch chefs as meat glue. I'm pretty sure this was actually in my room at the start of the game, so I definitely read this. I was going to comment on how he, you know, keeps uh, plants in his room, but obviously he's a chef, so he keeps his own private garden. There's Morgan, you, that's me, and I assume the chef. The chef. What the hell did you do to that thing, Mitchell? Sounds like an anti-waffle commercial. Well, I didn't see it as an override per se. It was just the operator's conversation sequencer. They're usually so grim. <sighs> do you know how many security protocols you broke? Well, Morgan said it was all right. Even helped me. I'm Operator Skillet, Miss Show. My, you sound like you could use a healthy dose of sunburst banana pudding. <clears throat> this is an AB conversation, Skillet. Apologies, Chef. I'll see my way out. Alrighty then. Uh, so yeah, clearly the chef is not who um is in the kitchen right now. The Star Bender Cycle, backstabbed in the face. No, I've seen that. There's the Noble Chef Award, but I'll leave it for now. Let me in. Ah. There we go. Okay, what am I going to learn in here? Emails. I already have the Executive Suite passcode. It's fine. Uh, food request for Alex. Will, sorry to contact you during downtime, but Alex has been working through the 4 o'clock shift and has put in a food request at the front desk. He says you know what he likes. Could you bring his meal to the Executive Suites? The code to the graph shaft is 2965. Thanks. Kevin Sabian, the concierge. Does the chef not have, like, a porter or something? Or, like, you know, a waiter? Or someone to do room deliveries? Uh, to Morgan Yu from Will Mitchell. Subject, emote upgrade. Morgan, hey, I guess you must have shifted cafeteria visits or taking food in your quarters now. But wanted to say thanks again for the emote upgrade. You should hear Skillet now. Much better. Don't think Danielle liked it, so hopefully that doesn't cause any trouble between you two. Don't be a stranger. Still plenty of your favorite snacks in stock. Just swing on by whenever you get a breather. Appreciate the help. Will. Also to note, obviously, um, the quote-unquote Chef Mitchell that we ran into in the kitchen didn't know who I was. And in here, it's pretty obvious that we knew each other fairly well. Um, no problem. Don't worry about Danielle. M. Okay, well, time to get this. Uh, am I about to get jumped again? Let's eat something. Anything in here now? I've already cleared basically everything here. Now would be a prime time. Is that me turning around that's making the noise or what? Oh, it's this. Okay. Uh, now would be a prime time. Prime time to jump me. You still alive? Huh? Huh. What if M.U. comes back? Let M.U. in? But... But what? But what? I also want to go up to the executive suites. Maybe I should do that. Before talking to the cook. I'm gonna do that. Oh, there's a body in here. 
Thank you. How far up does this go? I hear an enemy. Technopath outside? Oh yeah, it's staring at me. Okay, well, it can't hit me through the wall. As far as I know. Alex's room is up here. As we knew. Whose room is this? Morgan Yu. It's my own it's my own office. I should be or my own room. I should be allowed in, right? Ah, I see. Cause we're the like the CEO. Because we're basically like the owners of this um property. We have the uh the best rooms. This basically This is set up basically in the same way that my room was set up in the um in the uh what in the simulation. Like, back on Earth. Well, there's a family photo. We're all looking very happy. Uh, nice. Okay. I guess she does have... I guess Morgan does have her own preferences for how she wants her room to look, I guess. Like I said, this is basically exactly the same layout as in the... Um, as in the simulation, more or less. Proxies, agendas, and personhood. The Supreme Court is set to weigh in on what could be ground, a groundbreaking decision this term. Can an emulated entity be granted power of attorney? Over the last few decades, the public has become increasingly familiar with artificial helpers, from the personal assistants on their wristwatches to the smart home systems that remind you where do you put your keys. But more recent advances in hybrid tech and the genius of connected omics, connect omics, the ability to map the myriad neuromod or neuronal, neuronal connections inside a person's brain have thrust digital doppelgangers squarely into the legal arena. Recently, billionaire Rourke Wallace granted power of attorney not to one of his many estranged power, uh, family members, but to a robotic facsimile of himself named Ransom. Ransom emulates Mr. Wallace's own reasoning, interests, and to some extent personality quirks to the to the point where the two are nearly indistinguishable, at least over the phone. In person, Ransom's molded ceramic and carbon body, while beautiful, make his true nature unmistakable. Needless to say, Mr. Wallace's family is not amused, especially concerning Ransom's decision for how to execute Mr. Wallace's will. Fair enough. That's actually quite relevant. Um, quite relevant to the twist in this game, but you'll find out as we continue. Uh, an account of Fermi's question... Yeah, we've seen this. Okay. So here's a lovely shower. Yeah, pretty much the same. So can still go in here and turn it on. Let's turn it off and not waste water. Uh, Alrighty then. I can turn on... Oh, the sink. Okay. I was like, turn on the cabinet, excuse me. Anything hidden away in here? No? Alright. I've been tinkering on operators as expected. Again, I'm surprised there's no recycler or um, fabricator in the in my, in my room, considering that I'm like a tinkerer. Uh, F paradox. Memory logs. Oh, okay. Calvino. Calvino, colleague, won't notice anything wrong. Eidetic memory, work obsessed, perfect medical record, no absences. Oh, okay. Uh, how old is this pizza, man? This, like, I'm surprised I walked in and I wasn't immediately, like, bombarded with flies and rot or something. Um, uh, Danielle. Entry. Show. Danielle. Head of IT. Dislikes you. Dislikes Alex more. Need to find out why. Note to self. Research. Chef Mitchell and emotive operator hack. Okay. Igwe. Igwe. One of Alex's hires. Cheap to recruit due to his unpopular stance on psychic phenomena. One of station's best scientists. Introvert. Knows about Tess. Loyal to Alex. Believes your brother and Typhon can save his career. Okay, Michaela. Michaela Ilyushin. Chief engineer. Not on speaking terms. Had brief relationship. You ended it when Tess began. She believes it is because you discovered her medical condition. Paraplexus. Convenient. False. Severing ties seemed prudent to you. Less painful given the impending memory loss. Mm -hmm. Paraplexus, nerve disorder, prevents use of neuromods, requires aggressive drug therapy to prevent degeneration, renders candidates ineligible for assignment to Talos 1. And Sarah Elazar. Sarah Elazar, 
Chief of security. Not a friend. Knows about the Typhon. Not about your tests, but suspects. Is trustworthy, but doesn't trust Alex. Or you, yet. Fair enough. All right. That's my room. Uh, Alex's room, and then what is this? Like a public bathroom? A guest suite, really. Oh, hello. Ah! Uh, ow. Go away. I don't even know who that is. Is that the celebrity? Argentino Para. No, I, that's not a name I rec recognize. Uh, okay, well. That was a thing. Sales folder. I don't think we have to worry too much about the side effects. From what I gathered, it's just a little pinprick near the eye, right? I mean, it looks scary, but I think we can get advertising to push some of the more appealing pros of NMs. We can shift public attention to that. Oh, I think we've seen this. Yeah, we've seen this. Never mind. Salespeople doing their usual. Obfuscating the truth. Doesn't seem like there's actually anything of note in here, though. Like, the guest suite is cool and all, but... Oh, gosh. I keep picking up the... I keep picking up alcohol by accident. Where did it even go? Auto sort. That didn't help me. I still don't know where it went. Okay, right, here it is. I keep dropping my banana peels. Or, in this case, my tracking base bracelet. Alrighty then. Uh, out of here then. Alex's room. Let me in. Okay. Starbender Cycle, Book 6, Dark Star Rising. The three sons of Belkelar, or Belkelar, were melting into one another in the sky, twisted in their death throes as a dark star anomaly devoured them with disconcerting alacrity. Trevor had managed to navigate the deadly debris whirling around the anomaly and crash land Empress Tourmaline's royal raptor cruiser at the base of Mount Mool, the synthetic geopyramid which, were now, which they were now surmounting. They stood panting beside a synthstone altar, its receptacle pulsing with crimson light. One minor detail I left out, Trevor, the Empress said, between labored breaths. We put this into the altar and it devours the anomaly, taking us with it in the process, Trevor replied, a wink in his grim smile. You knew the whole time? Trevor wrapped his fingers around hers, both of them now holding the Starbender prism. I was born for this, Trevor replied, and he pushed the prism into the altar. Well, I kind of want to read more about that, actually. Uh, I'll take those. Transstar Rewards Program, I don't think that's relevant here, and we've seen it before. Let me in, Alex. Ow. Uh, I think we should probably be tracking down, um, Abby as well. Because we don't really know where she went. Alex Yu. From Hans Kelstrup to Alex Yu. Trouble with Illusion. Alex, your chief engineer just sent a flunky down here to install upgraded door sensors. We took the sensors and turned the engineer away. Hudson disassembled one of them and there was something inside. A listening device! What the hell is this about? Recently, she tried to request records from Neuromod Division. Re volunteer records, Alex. I don't think I can overstate the seriousness of the situation. You need to get a handle on Illusion, Hans. No sub- well, that's because she's looking to her, um, her father, right? Uh, Hans. Sorry, no subject from Emma Beattie to Alex Yu. Alex. Oh, this is the exercise thing, we've seen this. Security footage, Sarah Ezelzar. I cannot find any camera footage of Chief Illusion leaving Morgan's quarters. It either does not exist or has been deleted. When questioned, Morgan said it was an engineering matter and does not want it filed with human resources. If you want to know more, I suggest you speak to Morgan directly. I will follow up with Chief Illusion as ordered. Chief Elzar. This is when we had a relationship then. Michaela, follow up. In speaking to Chief Illusion, she admitted the visit concerned a medical matter and requested the visit not be misconstrued. Oh, this is a paraplexus talk. Upon your orders, I reminded her again that if there has been any change in her relations with Morgan Yu, she would need to notify HR. I considered the matter closed and would prefer such inquiries be left off my duty roster in the future. She fell as are. Okay. Whoa! Ah! That was good. Alrighty then. 
Uh, let's try that again. Mech Tech DX. Is that a suit ship set? Ship set? Yeah, it is. Reduces the time it takes to repair an object. Oh no, it's a psychoscope one. Okay. Fine. Uh. Oh, this is his treadmill, which obviously he never uses. Terraforming Mars. He keeps it near the toilet. Good stuff. He's got his own little bar in his room. And nothing in the supply crates. He has stocked the hell up on food, though, which, you know, should not be a surprise, I suppose. Okay. There's surprisingly little to learn about in his room, isn't there? Alex's room. What exactly am I looking for? Why is this a quest log item, and why am I here? Did I miss something? Why am I here? Uh, deep storage. Search Alex's room for the escape pod key. Okay, so it's probably hidden away somewhere, yeah? Nope. Did I just see more items pop out? Hmm. No wave, Typhon Lure, Psy Hypo. Not gonna be there. Where would he have hidden it? Hmm. Break room cabinet, break room cabinet. I can pick up the ele uh, refrigerator. I don't think it's back there though. Hmm. Where would Alex have placed? The key. It's not up here. It's not in the toilet. Terraforming Mars. I'm a little stumped, actually. Okay. It's not under his pillow. I'm like picking everything up and being like, okay, where'd you hide your shit? Uh. I'm surprised it's not in the e like on the computer then. Yeah, okay. Okay, you can turn off now as well. Stop that. I'm definitely missing something. And there's nothing back here? Hmm. No, there's definitely a tag in here. Where the hell would he have- Oh, what? Alright. Are you serious? It was just on the table? Did I just walk pa Okay, well then. Let's pretend that didn't happen. And then I can escape Talos 1 if I wanted to. But that would, you know, not complete like 90% of the actual quest objectives. Good to know. Um, in that case, let's go back to the chef. Oh, actually, um, let me track down the Abby. Let me see if Abby's around. Uh, Abigail. Is she... She's chief of something. She's like something boss, right? Um, this is based on first name, so Abigail should be one of the first ones I see. There she is. No life signs. Sanitation boss. She is super dead. But where? Over there? Oh, wait, I found her before, haven't I? I think I did. She's down there somewhere. Hmm. 
I just want to quickly double check so I'm not missing anything. Oh, did they block off this area when I, um, when the poltergeist spawned ah. earlier? Ow. That sucked. I assume that's what happened. So Abigail's probably through here. You find it? You back? Come to window. Show me. Sure, I'll do that. Wait, you're in the kitchen? But you're okay? Yeah, she's like in the kitchen or something. Hello, guy who's very clearly uh, the chef. You found something? Hmm. Have to let you in. <laughs> Promised. Go around. The side entrance. Okay. Will do. Quote unquote, will. I have to get ready for you to jump me. I smell an ambush. Let me in. Wait! Four. Minute. <clears throat> you are safe now. The beasts, they cannot get in. But... Look at this. Look at what? We have food, but no water. This pressure regulator, it is broken. System automatic cut off until fixed. You can find a replacement part in greenhouse, I think. With water, we can wait for rescue. No water? Huh. Do this legit. favor, I'll let you into freezer. That's where I hid all the puppets the beast sent first. Maybe they have useful things for you, no? Okay, sure. If you'll let me into the freezer, fine. Note, four jelly deals, two Pacific sliders, and three Siskak Yunagi rolls in order for Quinton. Broken regulator. Huh? And you, and you, hmm. I already hear this name before. Where? What do you Welcome think? To Sister of Alex Yu. She's one of the station's co-directors and one of the nicest executives you'll ever meet. Hasn't been around much for some... Quiet now. Hmm. Abigail Thorne. Have you the jelly deals? They've been especially new for today. I actually, I no can just hack my way in. Your eyes. <laughs> no black swimming. Fabricator. Hmm. Others come, try to act human, get me to open the door. Oh, I already have, yeah, I already have a regulator. I already had one from before. I didn't have to waste my replacement part. Operator Damn. Skilly, at your service. Okay, Should you want to talk? Should modify my dialogue sequencer to improve morale. Nothing aids digestion more than a laugh and an attitude. When puppets can get in, explode like bombs. Wow. The beast lays eggs in my head, made them explode. Okay, uh, let me in then. You fix? Mm, smart one. Always have been. Here, I open freezer now, like I promised. Lots of dead puppets and supplies. Your, uh, fish sticks? What are you implying? Oh, uh, safe in here. Uh huh. Sure. Go in. Take whatever you want. Only oh, it's cold. Can... It's very cold. Ow! What? Transdown piece of junk. Are you awake? Am you? Frozen dead? Maybe. I take Puppet's toy screen. I see all the names in the list. And your name too. Means you listen from now on. I know who you are. Am you. you? Daughter of William Yu. William. Transtar. Always playing with lies. Now, maybe I watch these beasts eat you. Like you try to feed me to them, or cold kills you first, make you into a frozen puppet. Uh huh. Uh, there's a lot of blood here. Suspicious meat, and it's got Will Mitchell's tracking bracelet in it. 
So this is probably the actual chef. Got it. Well done. Uh, and Abigail's back here, which is not good. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry. Red circuit board, suit repair, flowers. Abby, I'm still in deep storage. I don't know why you won't pick up. I hope you're safe. If things get bad, I'll jettison a data vault and spacewalk along the hull. Come to the fitness center and bang on the window by the pool. I should feel the vibration. Okay, I'll Abby, do that. Please don't take any chances, all right? I be safe. I will now go and bang on the window. That turret should still be on my side. And it didn't shoot him because because he's not a typhon, right? Lovely. Do you have anything to say about this? No, you don't. Uh, let's see if there's anything I should fabricate right now, actually. Um, how am I doing on ammo? I could use some more bullets. I could also use a recycler, to be honest. I think I have a lot of loot on me, or, you know. Uh, is that a bomb? What's with all the blood all of a sudden? Or was this blood always here? And I just never noticed. Not go off. And you? Maybe you see it? Avoid it? Maybe. Alright. Uh, fitness center is uh, not this way, is it not? Oh no, it's back out this way, yeah. Okay then. Um, well, apparently Danielle is just like spacewalking outside at the moment, so... Hopefully, I'll at least be able to talk to her. And she'll still be alive. So it turns out coming in here was required in the end. So it's a good thing that I already cleared it. Alright. Hey. Hey, hello. Oh, that's what we look like with the helmets on. Okay, cool. Hi. Morgan? If you're here, then... Abby didn't make it, did she? No, I'm sorry. I don't... <sighs> Nothing more that I can do for you right now. But look, be careful. <sighs> There's someone else in crew quarters pretending to be the cook. <sighs> it's a bit too late for that. His tracking bracelet's from Psychotronics, but... <sighs> the ID doesn't make any sense. He... <sighs> I think he's the one that killed Abby. Probably. If you can, make sure he doesn't get off the station. Okay. I'll see what else I can do to help from out here. For as long as I can. Goodbye, Morgan. If you, why are you having oxygen problems? I never have oxygen problems. Go and get that suit repaired, then you won't have that problem anymore. Alright. So, to deep storage? I believe. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Kill the imposter cook. Yep. I will do that for you. Because he has now apparently killed a bunch of people. Also, I should do that. Where is the imposter cook? Cook is still out there on Talos and is a threat to all the remaining crew. Danielle's show is actually alive outside the station, though not for long. Before I left her, she lamented the death of her partner, Abby, at the hands of the imposter cook. The cook is still out there on Talos and is a threat to all the remaining crew. Not for long. I mean, again, repair your suit and you won't have to suffocate. Hello? Well done finding Chief Show. You've got what you need to get into deep storage. Okay, well, I found all these people. Oh, she the guest is the World Cup MVP. No life signs. Super dead. Kitchen staff. I didn't find their bodies, but doesn't really matter. Where are you? You're alive? Oh, I probably knocked you out. Oh yeah, I knocked you out. You're fine. Okay. But why were you not tagged as found? Oh, because I didn't... I thought I, I looted that banana. Okay, whatever. Not the point. 
Uh, what else is there? This person, where's your dead body? Over there? How'd I miss you? There's no way I missed these bodies, right? I assume I just walked past them or something? And then didn't, didn't loot them? Or were you in the kitchen too? You might have been in the kitchen as well. Alright, well, while I'm here, I may as well clear this out. Oh, I'm out of stamina. I'm so incredibly... Tired. Alright. Okay, I have to assume that she was in the kitchen. That's like the only logical explanation I have. Oh yeah, she was definitely in here. Come in. Where were you? Four meters away? Is there a door here I didn't see? Oh yeah! Huh! There's Kevin Sabian! Oh, these were the mind-controlled people. Okay, got it. So this was the, um... This was the concierge. Not sure who she was. But now I can pick up all this stuff. Shotgun critical plus plus? Hello? Who the hell is going to not equip this? I need more psychotronics, um, I need more chips, like, immediately. Where are you? Here. And this gives me... chipsets. Yep, doing it. I have 25 Neuromods, Jesus. Maybe I should uh, actually invest them, right? Maybe I should actually use some of them. <laughs> uh, dismantle, impact calibration, tempting. Toughness, don't care for it. Okay, um, let me see quickly what my neuro, um, my scope chipsets are right now. So, definitely equipping that. Optimizer, electrostatic burst. Don't care about the time it takes to repair. Maximum side pool, don't care. Kinetic, I don't use that. Don't use that. Far scan, tempting. Resistance to fear, could be useful. Mimic detection. You know what? I am going to use those neuromods on um, on some more chips. I know they don't really give me as much of a an upgrade at this point because I have the shotgun critical and pistol critical already. But far scan and speed scan would be helpful, I think. What else can I invest in? I've got 15 left. Telepathy, more. I don't want to use any of that, so... I could run around faster. I could run faster, that is a thing. And stamina. And health. Whoa, what? Natural lifespan increased by that much? I kind of want to do it just to extend my life. <laughs> Alright, conditioning. Mm. Running speed 25% faster, dang. Gain the ability to sprint with ludicrous speed and jump incredibly high. Alright, I'll take that too. Mm, increasing my health. Natural lifespan by 25 years? Come on, man. Alright, sure, why not. How high is this? Oh, wow, that's... You're not kidding. That's a big... That's a very tall jump. Wow, okay. Can I just hold... Oh, yeah. Wow, okay. Alright, well, traversal now no longer requires glue for me. Jeez. Incredible. Alright. Why did I hold off on getting this so long ago? Um, anyway, let's get the hell out of here then. Multiple objectives. Back out to the Arboretum. I wonder where the, uh, where the fake cook went then. I'm hoping that it'll have a quest objective, otherwise I'm going to have to track them down or something, um, using their bracelet. Wait. This coral wasn't here earlier. Was it? I don't remember. 
So it's probably safe to assume based on the sound that there are now new enemies. Um, I think that is now an enemy again, because it's red. Hello? Yeah, I think that's a... Um, that's become... Aggressive again. Yeah. Come on. Down you go. Help me out, please. Ow. Alright. I think there's a second one too, though. I don't think this is the only one. Hello. Good to oh. See you, again, Dr. you might as well heal me then, while you're here. Thank you. Still can't get in there. Mimic? There's a lot of mimics. Oh, hello. Hiya! Nope. Hiya! Hiya! The nightmare is hunting you. Oh, good! Oh, wonderful! How lovely! Evade or kill it. Yeah, might be easier said than done, though. I wasn't expecting a nightmare. Okay. Well, it's already at half health. It's not that hard. We're okay. Good evening, Talos. We'd like to remind you that company policy requires. It does mean that I might need to consider getting more shotgun ammo. But... Any voluntary extension of your work hours with the Go station away. counselor. We know the projects aboard Talos One are exciting, but even the brightest minds need adequate rest. Go away, sir. Uh, ammo situation. Rapidly depleting. Not good. Voltaic phantoms everywhere. Lovely. Good. Wonderful. Happy about that. Uh, super fruit. Apparently that's the thing that I should probably pick up. What happened to all my turrets? Are they just dead? Yeah, what the hell? All my turrets are down? Repair. Help me out. Oh, there's a body up here. How did I not see you before? No, I didn't need to hack you. I didn't want to hack you, but okay, fine. Let me just do this then. Alright. Can I just pick you up, please? And then deploy you? Thank you. Go! Don't- that actually downed my turret, like, immediately. That's so- so quick. Any more? It sounded like I got the attention of something else, but okay. Um, my weaponry, do I need to repair it? I might need to repair this. 50% per repair, okay, maybe not. Shotgun, just looks to be okay as well. This thing, it's mostly okay. 50% again. Uh, where's my golden gun? Golden gun, golden gun. Here you are. Oh, you're fine. 98%. Alright. Let's get that super fruit and then get the hell out. I'll take it. Harvest the super fruit. I have done so. Uh, hello, body. Thank you. Oh, hi. I was uh, actually just here for the food. Welcome. Maybe I can... Help me, turrets. No? Help me, turrets. Bye. Good stuff. And I got some shotgun shells out of it, too. Can't complain. Hello, Dr. Yu. Have these actually respawned, or... Oh, yeah, they have. Or some of it has. 
I'm okay with that. Food is food. Free stuff to shove in my mouth and eat. Alright. Okay, so I guess maybe they're not respawning and I'm just picking up stuff that I missed before. There's the sprinkler system. Why is that being tagged? Is that just another thing for me to do again? For me to make more fruit? Or what? Let's see. What does this, uh, the super fruit even do? I could eat it. I assume it'll give me a boost of some sort, but I'm going to save it for when I actually need it. Uh, what else is there then? Lover's gift. Find the tree with the uh, lover's initials. Oh, tracking Ellie with the security station might lead me to the site. I kind of wish I did that. And where's Danielle's map? Yeah, find Danielle show's map. But Danielle is outside. Maybe if I kill the um, the cook, she'll talk to me and give me her map. Or, like, you know, I'll, she'll talk to me in person and she won't randomly die. That'd be kind of nice. So, medical operator corrupted. Where? Hmm. There it is. Uh... Are you stuck over there? Alrighty. I guess it fell and it knocked off the uh, the glue that was on it. That was weird. Um, okay, so I have to look for Ellie or whatever her name is. Um, so I'll quickly run around looking for that and then um, we can consider going to deep storage. So, ah, yay. Okay. I sure wish I read the security terminal thing earlier. Isn't there a security terminal up here, though? Where I got the, um... What's it called? The... The turrets? Good evening, Talos. Ow! I remind you that if your personal data has changed since the previous pay cycle, please contact me immediately. Well, that Mr. Sucked. Tucker's office is on the second floor. Of the let me... Let me repair this. I don't want it to be a problem. Okay, so there's some greater mimics. Lovely, lovely. I see you. Okay, you are now tagged. Hello. I mean, I'm okay with you following me. It's fine. Just run into, um... Run over here, please. Right here would be good. Yep. You keep doing that. Uh, I should probably repair... Whatever's going on inside there as well. Thank you. I should probably repair this junction. Nice. And then I'll go heal myself over here. Oh, error. Maximum concurrent operators reached. Oh, well, that's not good. When, when did this happen? Okay. All right, I'm relatively confident then. Um, I just need to find the uh, the tree. Oh, this is probably it over here. How did I not come over here earlier? Hello. No, this is Iris Stein. Oh. Hmm. Inventory overflow. Well, that sucks. I'll eat that. I have too much stuff again. No, I haven't had this problem in ages. Okay. Well, I mean, realistically, do I need to have another weapon upgrade kit? Yes, the answer is yes. Uh, greenhouse checklist. Check phosphate levels. Reduce sprinkler cycle. See if Dr. Howard's experimental finds need water. Dr. Howard changed the greenhouse password to Xenopod 1. But I've already made my way in, so I am all clear on that account. Um, I'll just get rid of this. It's whatever. I'd rather have the weapon upgrade kit, which I don't have space for, still. Um, in that case... Do I really need the tracking bracelet for Danielle? Probably not. I'm just quickly seeing if there's anything else here. I also have Will, Will Mitchell's tracking bracelet. Yellow tulips. Oh, it's overflowing because I have too much. That makes sense. 
That makes sense. I have I, I I'm opening up another stack. That's the problem. I mean the flexiflome bolts. I really don't need these. Like I really don't. So I'll toss that. I'll trade trade you for this. And now I have enough space. Good. Yeah, I don't I don't need that many flexiflome bolts. I've only used like two the entire game. Uh, all right. I need to find a security security level. And also, didn't I have a medical droid in here? Like a real one? I don't see it right now. Okay, that's fine. So, I guess... I... Greater Mimic. Oh, hello. Come on. Get over here. Nice. I think I've moved that turret too far back, so it's not actually able to uh, attack it, so... Right here, please. Part of me wants to actually fortify them, too, but that might be too many parts being thrown away. Perhaps. Um, okay, where the hell is this tree? Etheric Phantom. Hello. Back off. Go back off. Go back off. Go back off. Fifty one ammo. Or fifty one shotgun shells left. So that's not a lot. What is this? Skeletal repair kit. Eh, okay, I do want that, but I'm too full on stuff. Well, I haven't broken well no. If I do break a bone, it's gonna be a problem. Do I really need crumpled paper? Probably not. Alright, give me give me the skeletal repair kit. At least there's that going for me. Oh! That was bad. How many of the were there? What the hell? Just regular mimics? Okay. You're a greater. That's fine. I think I see some people down there that I might need to worry about. I might not have actually looked that thoroughly through here as I thought. Back off. We're gonna do what? Oh. Nope. These are actually quite slow, to be honest. They're only really a problem if they surprise you. Nope. Nice. Okay. Okay, I don't know why it charged up that long for an attack, but sure. Hiya! Hiya! Okay. Uh, okay, so there was like a little clearing back here. What the? Alright. Oh no, I know about this thing. That's where the baseball game was being held, is it not? Relaxation area. This is my own fault for not... Oh, I found them. Hey, I've been here before. What the hell? Yeah, I did find her. Look for the gift under some rocks near the tree. That's probably it right there. Storage room A2. I don't know where, where storage, rock, uh, storage room A2 is, but... Use a key card to open the storage closet. Where is that? Alex's escape pod, sprinkler system. A2 storage room. That's AR1. Let's quickly check this. Um, key card storage. Where, where exactly are you talking about? I'm not sure. I mean, I'll find out, but... Oh, it's probably this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. This one. Yep. Uh... Oh, there was a... There was a trap. There was a trap. Thanks for that. I enjoyed it so much. Could really use a medical operator. That would be quite convenient. 
All right, well, back to 30 health. Lovely, lovely. Um Welcome. Maybe I can help. Hey, yes, you can help. Was I just not paying attention? I was not paying attention, damn it. There was a recycler charge right here. Well, I wasn't expecting it. Hello, Lawrence Baxter. Have you considered getting closer so I can actually shoot you? I think it's stuck back there. Well, sorta. Well, there's a healing thing right here, so I shouldn't be too worried about taking damage. Just die already, please. Bye bye. Heal me, please. Back to 30 again. Thank you. I have no space for any of this stuff. Shotgun shells, I'll take that. Plant clipping, ammo. So basically, he would have had a nice date with her here. That was the plan. Of course. But, um, obviously it didn't quite work out. Which is a shame, really. Um, but it is what it is. Oh, there's another hypermod deck here. And a spinning apple. I said hypermod. Neuromod. Alright. Hello. Are you here Hello. For an appointment? No. Okay, uh, what can I do now? The escape pod is there. I could take it, but I don't think I will at the moment. Uh, multiple objectives. I do kind of want to go back to the lobby, um, so that I can recycle all this crap in my inventory. I might actually just do that off screen, so I'm going to leave entering the deep storage area for next time. I hope that you enjoyed what you saw here today and that you're doing well wherever you are. This has been Karst with Prey. And we'll see you then. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.